Good morning guys. This morning I'm going to show you around the 77 series Massey Ferguson. This one we've got a 7726 but basically while I'm going to show you in the video every series of the Masseys and they're enough the same so right so start off by putting the key in the ignition fire up so on the screen there we've got 7,000 uh, 1,740 hours let's do a service at 19.50 so first of all start the tractor your foot's got to be on the clutch Great, place goes. Right. Shut this door. Ah. Right, so in these, they've got a climate control. It works better, I always find, if you put it on auto, so 20 degrees, and leave it on auto, that will keep the cab at 20 degrees the whole time. So, automatic unlock. You want yes. So basically, what that does is that locks your hydraulics for you and your presets. Right. So start off with the screen. So on here you got preset menus. So what you can do if you click this button here, I bring up a menu. So say you want transmission but then on the bottom you don't want the hydraulics you want say efficiency you click it and it changes it so just by this you just click scroll to which one you'd like so I normally have transmission and the hydraulics if you press the home button if you want to you can go into here and go through all your settings say so auxiliary assign so if you wanted to, you could put your spool valve number one onto here, onto your joystick. Um, some of the Masseys don't have the joystick in. The Varios, mm, no, sorry, the Varios don't have it in from standard. I was just about to say that, but I don't think they do. Um, I think, well, like this tractor, this is what Massey Ferguson called their um, exclusive range. So with this, you've got two spool valves on the armrest, you've got your two electric spool valves here, and also you've got this. So if I want to, I can change the oil flow from one and two on here. Press that button, it brings it under here. Uh, I can't really see why, but there you go. Um, obviously, you've got your PTO button. And down here, you've got your work light, well, your road lights. Uh, automatic four wheel drive, permanent four wheel drive, permanent diff lock, automatic diff lock, front suspension, auto steer. So, if you've got an auto steer system fitted, and that's your super steer. So, if you press that and turn the steering wheel, that's full lock within two, two or three turns. Good little feature, but obviously don't use it on the road. <laughs> um, so yeah, back to the Datatronic screen. So if you want to, you can go into a folder, and that'll bring up all types of different things. Really, really, the best thing to do is just have a play. Really. So we'll just go through some of the operational um, switches, as if you like. So. Once you've started your PTO button, you can. Um, well, I ain't got nothing on, so I'll show you. So you start the PTO. So PTO is engaged. You can, if you want to, press the button there, turns it off. But the symbol will flash because you've got it set on here. 
you haven't actually turned the switch off on here. So if you wanted to, you could have your engine revs running. Kick your PTO in, away it goes. PTO off, engine off. Right, let's turn that off, safety first. So, back to the um, joystick. So obviously, uh, self-explanatory, it's neutral. With the masses, when you first start the tractor up to get the hydraulics to work, double tap the neutral. That will then bring it into work. So you can up and down on your joystick. So now we've got on the screen, you've got 1F and 4C, so cruise 1, cruise 2. So say you're setting yourself into work and you want to, uh, say you're ploughing, let's say, right? So you, your headland management turn round gear as such is 3A. So 3A will be on cruise 1, so when you drop back in with your plough, if you then press cruise 2 and say you want to be in 3D, that will work its way up through the gears, up to 3D. So as you come towards the end, if you want to start slowing down, you just press cruise 1 and you can carry on looking at what you're doing, you haven't got to worry about changing down the gears. So on here, that's your headland management button, so a bit like the fence, you can set these up on a timer um, and a replay. So one presses a button that will lift up, that will turn your PTO off, blah blah blah. But that's a bit complex inside the screen. I just want to try and keep this video as short as possible, really. So, on here, you've got this button here. So, if you put your, take the handbrake off, put your foot on the clutch, press the button, that puts it in the forward. You press it again, puts it in reverse, vice versa. And then just to t take it out again, you've got to just do that. Um, what else is there really to show you? Really, obviously, you got the radio. Just to turn that on, you just give the volume knob a little flick. Welcome. Bluetooth. Um, so up here, you got your work lights, PTO speeds, your draft um, preset. Your draft is actually here on the armrest. Lift height, drop height. That's your. Um, oh, excuse me. That's your. Oh, rear arm. Oh, sorry rear arm um, suspension so say you've got a plough on you're going down the road press that button it says you press the button and uh, that will give it a bit of suspension down here you've got your hitch so obviously you lift it all the way up pull your handle up obviously I'm not going to do it because I've got a trailer on the back but lift it all the way up pull the handle up and then go down about halfway and I think from standard they're on small valve 3 this one is anyway it's set up on small valve 3 to extend your hook in and out on your hitch uh, over on here you got your mirrors but obviously like I said before this is the um, exclusive range on the standard efficient they call them and um, they haven't got all this well they've got the rear wiper but they haven't got automatic um wiper uh, wiper what am I on about mirror adjust um same as the heated mirror they haven't got that on either obviously because they've just got a box standard mirror so if you want to um change your um start speed you simply put the uh, lever in forward 
and with this at the same time I'm going to try and do this so I can show you I don't know if you can see but basically at the same time push that down as at the same time as pulling that back at the same time and you'll see it change on the screen so it's free C there There we go, I don't know what you can see, but if you put them down at the same time, you'll see it change on the screen, 3A, 3B, 3C. Ideally, really, if you're just doing carton work on the road in here, 3C is normally enough just to get you away at junctions when you're loaded. So yeah, that's the quick rundown of the uh, Massey Ferguson series. I'm gonna try and do a few more videos when I can. Um, going through a bit more on the screen and the um, service work and stuff like that on the tractors so I hope you enjoy cheers bye bye